Welcome back. Glad to see that you're still with us. Uh, what we're going to do now is continue starting to continue writing the class functions so we can start actually getting into the fun stuff. So I'm going to open up my calculator.cpp. I'm going to scroll my source code down to line number 80. And um, I'm going to start writing these functions. And actually, I'm not going to start with the square root function, only because if we take a look at the class declaration, it has two other functions that I'm going to be using alongside. So we're going to come back to that one later. I'm going to scroll down to um, line 87, and I'm going to write the clear function, which is pretty simple. The first thing that we're going to do is when, like, the clear function is going to be enacted when you press the clear button on a calculator. So if you can envision what happens in, inside of a calculator when you press clear. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is set the stack position back equal to 0. We're going to set the, the accumulator back to zero and we're going to set the stack position zero equal to zero so we're just basically redefining everything almost as if we were doing a, another constructor so save that that's all that's going to happen inside the clear function if we scroll down the next function we have a string to float so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change string s to str for it's going to be short for string so here's how this is going to play out. It's going to be C-O-N-S-T space C-H-A-R, and then we're going to use a pointer space S-T-R, and then we're going to do a capital C. So we're declaring a different character space space. Now what we're going to do is do S-T-R capital C, the thing that we just declared, and we're going to make that equal to S-T-R, which is the string that we declared, and we're going to use some of these sub functions that are inside the string class dot c underscore s t r function and now we're going to return the float value of that so we're going to do return ascii to float s t r capital c okie dokie so i'm going to save this and i'm going to make sure it works so i'm going to go back to terminal press the up arrow two times and I don't have any errors so so far it's at least compiling right as long as I'm saving it properly if I scroll down the next function that I have is equal alright now the equal class the equal function is, is going to introduce us to a couple of other functions that we have to write so I'm gonna space over and I'm gonna put some conditions in here if I'm gonna move the mouse out of the way for you if stack one equals one now, do you remember how up here we did this? If it equals plus, make it 1. So now what I'm saying is, if it equals 1, go to the add function. And we're just going to continue on the line. Else, if stack 1 equals 2, and I'm going to copy this line because I'm going to reuse it go to the subtract function else if it's 3 go to the multiply function else if it's 4 go to the divide function alright so now we have to at least declare these so we're gonna do on line 117 void calc now I'm going to copy this line because I'm going to be using this. Add. Give it a block to live in. Actually, to make this a little bit more easier to copy and paste, I'm going to put my mouse cursor right before the A. I'm going to select everything from here all the way to the top. See, watch what happens. When I go to line 21 and paste that, huh? You like that? And then we're going to do subtract. Go to the next line, 128. Paste it. Add, subtract multiply and then 135 we're gonna put divide I'm sorry 138 is gonna be divide divide whoops okay so we're down on line 141 and before I save and compile this what I'm gonna do is remember how before I ignored my spacing I'm gonna go to line 103 put spaces there line 94 
put spaces there. Line 85 and put spaces there just because I have OCD and it, that just looks a lot prettier to me. So I'm going to save this, go back to our terminal and compile the program again. We have an error on line 117. So let's go check it out. Void calc add no semicolon. All right, I'm sorry about that. Save that and let's compile it again and it compiled fine. Excellent. So now when we come back, we're going to code the add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions.